This is the first time Joe Biden and Donald Trump are meeting face to face since their debate back in June, an event that led to Biden dropping out of the presidential race. Donald, congratulations. Thank you. Donald Trump returning to 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue for the first time since leaving office in January 2021. The president elect accepting an invitation from President Biden to begin the handoff of power. Looking forward to having a, like we said, a smooth transition. Do everything we can to make sure you're accommodated, what you need. And we're going to get a chance to talk about some of that today. A White House meeting between the sitting president and the president elect is a long standing tradition. Back in 2016, Trump met with then President Barack Obama and called the meeting, quote, a great honor. But Trump did not continue the tradition four years ago after losing the election to Biden. Politics is tough, and it's, uh, in many cases, not a very nice world, but it is a nice world today, and I appreciate it very much. It, a transition that's so smooth, it'll be as smooth as it can get, and uh, I very much appreciate it. Before arriving at the White House, Trump met with House Republicans in Washington. The GOP took control of the Senate in last week's election and are on pace to maintain control of the House. Speaker Mike Johnson says they're ready to get to work implementing President-elect Trump's agenda. We are looking forward to governing in unified government beginning in January. Absent from today's meeting is Melania Trump, who turned down an invitation to the White House from First Lady Jill Biden. It's also unclear if Trump's opponent, Vice President Kamala Harris, will meet with Vice President-elect J.D. Vance. In Washington, Rebecca Castor, Fox News.